Oh, YouTube, YouTube. I said, let me start my video today. I didn't make one. So much been going on around my little bloodline, family bloodline. And it's some things that need have been, need has, had needed to be crushed. Sorry, sorry. But first, before I start anything, bear with me, it's hot. Whew, it's hot. It's a little warm today. I don't know what the degrees is, but it's a little warm. But first, before I get started, please bear with me. 70 degrees, get out. Um, please bear with me. Um, first, let's give all honors to our father. Can't do it without him. Can't do nothing without him. Nothing. Cannot do it without them. Because doing it without them, you won't win. You won't win. You won't win. You just won't win. And it's not about winning houses and cars and and, and luxury things and having a six-figure business. And it, ain't, it is not about the things that you can accomplish in the world. It's about your spirit that you can accomplish growing in the midst of the drama in the world that is given by satan and his dumb dogs and it's been going it's been going pretty loud for a long time the demonic manual the demonic manual been going for a long time the manual that everybody been following instead of following the father and in truth and for so long many people didn't realize it and if you did realize it and you ignored it get back in line with it it's not worth losing your soul over it nothing on this earth is worth losing your soul nothing nothing or no one is worth you losing your soul because we all got a time and a day that we have to get up off of this earth and what state are you in when you leave this earth excuse me you all because it's sunny out here and the sun is shining bright okay. at you. i gotta get out of that truck way baby come on baby thank you though they was trying to let me through, but these people is going in. They're not going to do right. So, um, Satan just been doing entirely too much. He's been doing too, too much. And he's been destroying so many people's lives. Through the curse of the family bloodline through the curse of working atmospheres, through friends, the family members, whoever he can use and whoever which we all have been under a curse due to even Adam. And I say Eve first because Eve was the true one first. She gave in to Satan. Adam didn't give in to Satan. Satan used Eve so Adam, Adam could give in. And that's how it go today on earth. Women lure down men. Truth. Them demonic souls that was taught to be demonic, defiled, lower down men that's how majority of men get captured by Satan is through women instead of just looking and I know it's hard I ain't trying to sit here and say it ain't hard but when you are trying to defeat the flesh you have to tear it down vice versa for men you got some women that submit to the demonic manual 
And that's the rules of the demonic way. You cannot be submissive to a demon. You just cannot be submissive to a demon. I know you're looking at your husband like that's the best husband you ever had. But that is not your husband. You are submitting yourself to a demon. If your husband is not born again. If your wife is not born again. You are under a spiritual attack. We all have been. If your father or your mother ain't born again, you are under a spiritual attack. If you are not born again and you marry and your husband or your wife is not born again, you are under a spiritual attack. Then your children is going to be brought up in that demonic manual under a spiritual attack is passed down generations after generations after generations but this is where the generations stop this is where the curse is ending at because the father has raised us up he has woke us up out of the dead out of darkness darkness is a dead place and many souls are dead in it still because many souls don't want to turn away and renew your minds. You speak on things you've been taught to speak on. You've been, you are speaking on things that the demonic manual taught you to speak on. Not what the word of God speaks on. See, in the Old Testament, they didn't have a redeemer. They had to sacrifice goats and animals and have sin offerings and peace offerings and but we have one lamb we have a redeemer they came and sacrificed his body many don't believe in him that's on you i ain't got nothing to do with that that's between you and the father but i know that there's a living father there's a living son and there's a holy ghost it's in me that's on you if you don't believe that's your problem we know we got to deal with scoffers. We know we got to deal with mockers. We don't care about that. We done been through it. We done been through it. Mockers and scoffers, the ones that hurt us near and dear is our closest family members. I've been hurt by all my family members. It's okay though. I've been hurt by coworkers. It's okay though. I hurt back. That's not what I'm saying here. When you twist our father's word, curse his son, pretend to be full of the Holy Spirit, you are in danger. Your life is in danger. You have no idea what you up against because the prince of the world got many blinded. 2 Corinthians 4, 3, 4. Revelation 19. Many are blinded. Why you think many are perishing? Because the lack of knowledge of the Father, not the lack of knowledge of the world. Knowledge is power. No knowledge of the world ain't power. Now the knowledge of the world is foolish. I'm book smart. What does that mean? It means nothing. How the Bible verse go? What? What is? What is a man that gained a? What is it a man that profit the whole world and lose his soul? <laughs> Woo, that's deep. Why? How would you profit the whole world, but at the end of it all, you end up losing your soul? I got everything on earth. But the, at the end of it all, you lose your soul. 
When you see the father, you go into eternal damnation because you want to profit the whole world. Exchange for your soul. It ain't worth it. It's not worth it. You can talk this, you can talk that, you can speak on this, you can speak on that, you can have this, you don't understand that because the natural man don't understand the spiritual man. The natural woman won't understand the spiritual woman because you don't have the Holy Spirit. You don't know what we know. You can't see what we can see. Our intuitions are sharp. All you're doing is guessing, playing around, pretending, putting on. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Playing with your soul is not worth it. I know many been taught a certain way and been taught a certain things. But as long as you still got breath in your body, you can come about of it. You can transform your mind. You can renew your mind. You can build your faith. But many of you don't trust our Father. Many of you don't trust Him. You speak on it, but you don't trust it. Because you move like it. You walk like it. You talk like it. If you don't really believe that or not. As soon as you say something about and I and I got a couple of chosen ones that I didn't fell in love with their channels as well. I follow people as well. I don't sit here and just want everybody to follow me. I follow them. I follow as well. Especially when that ministry is real. But Spirit, the Holy Spirit will lead you to the true ones. And it's a couple of channels that I love and I see and, and that men and there's some women. But they speak truth. And you know what come behind them? Because they're speaking truth. Ones that follow the demonic manual. Well, they uh, just pray for them. No, ain't no pray for them. Because when you pray with God, your prayers is done. It's a stopping point. And, and when you sit and play with him for periods of time, years after years after years, and you holding that Bible in your hand, or you holding those holy scriptures in your hand, and you still playing, you got a problem. Because you know in John 3, 3, you must be born again. You got to be born again. So if you ain't never encountered the Holy Ghost, you ain't never had an encounter with him where you can speak on it and it put fear in you about knowing that the living father is really up there. You ain't got nothing going for yourself. This is a great pretending. You are a great pretender that the father will hew you down sooner or later. I'm not, I don't never get on my channel and tell people to chase a dream. Your dream is where we can't see in the unseen. That's your dream. This stuff on earth ain't a dream. Seek the kingdom of God first and at least things will be added. This stuff is vanity. It's going to vanish. Just like we're going to vanish. We are nothing but a vapor of smoke. Go to James and I'll read it to you. I mean, go to James and read it to yourself or get the audio to read it to you. Read it. It's there. These lies been singing real loud where they've been planted in many souls. Us chosen ones, we backing down. My uh, chosen, one of my chosen sisters, walk heavy. I love her. Uh, Braylon and Lisa, I love watching them. Apostle Eli Lasky, I love watching him. And his wife. Braylon and Lisa, they married. And Walk Heavy, those are three. And Spiritual Hopper, he getting it right too. Stephanie Smith. It's a few more. Um, see, um, he's a little young. Um, Disciple, see, uh, see something. It, it's so many that I clicked on to now, and he just subscribed to my channel. Thank you. Um, so it's a lot more out there. Smart Christian. Um, 
too strong. It's a lot of them that I be watching. And it's worth it. Because I done found some people that I can relate to. Even though I haven't met these people personally, but I can relate to them. And there's many more out there. I'm, I'm one that's searching, find, and find, and search. And then there's some spirits I just can't connect to, and I know it's not for me, so I, I, unsus I unsubscribe because I'm not with anyone that talks about the flesh or try to throw the flesh into the spirit. I'm not with that. Then you let me know you're double-minded and unstable in all your ways. I don't look at people that got thousands and thousands of views and all that extra stuff because that don't rock my boat. It don't matter how many subscribers you got or how many viewers you got. Is you living for the kingdom? Because as our Messiah say, just know they hated you. I mean, they hated me before they hated you. Just know that. And I want to say that's in John 15. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. I chose you out of the world. You did not choose me. And what this world doing? They choose their own ministry. Because the government is wrapped up in it. You got to pay the government. One woman told me on in a mega church I went to on Zoom when it when the um, when that Corona 19 um, plague hit the earth, and she said, "Well, now um, church is like a business." I said, "I don't know what God you serving, but it ain't the God I serve. It ain't my Father, because His house is a house of prayer. When you walk up in that church, you can come back out a whole nother opposite way. Because see, Satan don't like the truth." But you going into these churches now, there ain't no truth in the church. They telling you to sow into your flesh, reap into corruption, sending you right straight to the uh, slaughterhouse, the pits of hell, the bottomless pit. And y'all falling right for it. And y'all just falling for it. You got itching ears. Y'all turned away from the truth, but the father ain't gonna lose. That's one thing y'all got to realize Just cause Satan got y'all doing this foolishness The father ain't finna lose He ain't losing nothing I don't care what kind of talent you trying to validate What kind of gift you think you validating Cause all great gifts come from up above The father ain't losing Because he gave us everything We didn't give him anything He can give us anything we want Except for worship how can the greatest God of all times get worship his creation? I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. You pay, if you got an artist, how the artist gonna worship the uh, art? Because truth be told, the art can't even speak back. But that's just the way that the demonic manual got everything set up. Imaginary walls and imaginary fairy tales and imaginary dreams and manifest this and manifest that. Man, you better get your faith built up and deal with the Father and let Him show you how He does it in that supernatural way. Said hollering, manifesting and manifesting and all that mess. You better know what you're talking about. First, you gotta get manifest that demons, manifest them demons up out of that soul. Get them demons up off of you. Manifest that. That's what you need to manifest. Anything else. Anything you touch and you ain't right with the Father, it's going to fail. I don't care what it is. And it takes some people fail at where Because Satan lets you get in there real deep. He lets you get in that portal. You go down that portal real deep. When you look back in that tunnel, ain't nothing but darkness surrounding you. Satan makes sure you get way up in there before when he take it, when it get taken from you, it fail. You fail. Your whole life fall down to the floor. You're screaming and crying and hollering. But you did it to yourselves because you got a chance. And I tell everybody that if the Father give you a chance to get it right while you still got breath in your body, live in the truth. Don't be sitting here living in lies like you're going you gonna to make it through the lies or like the father ain't going to do nothing to you. You're going to see him. 
He ain't give up his son to play with y'all. He ain't give up his son to play no games. Oh, Lord. I'm in the wrong way. He ain't give up his son to play no games. None whatsoever. Okay, this is 202. Wait a minute, I'm looking for a house. Bear with me. He didn't play, he didn't play with his son. His son did not come. Jesus the Christ did not come on this earth to play games. He came to save souls. I'm at the wrong place. He came to save souls. He did not come to play dice with your souls. He came to save souls. He died for us. And if that ain't a, a good enough, then y'all need to get it right. Because I don't know what you've been told. But you've been told a lot. And that's what it is. You've been told a whole lot. And that's why many are going the opposite way and being turned down. Been told a whole lie, period. But I have to go because I'm trying to find this house. I see, see it with 302. I'm trying to figure out where it is. That's 322. But I love each and every one of you. I really do. I do, I do, I do. And peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm trying to figure out where this house at. I'm down the wrong road. I'm on my but I love each and every one of you. Y'all, so much love and blessings to each and every one of you. I can go around in a circle for a minute because I got the um, I don't mind talking about my father because I know he's up there on his throne and he loves each and every one of his children. But everybody not gonna make it, just like with Cain and Abel, you know, just like with um okay, there you go, right in my face. <laughs> I passed it to y'all, it was right here in my face. Cause I'm talking about my father, man. I don't be playing about him. I don't care what I don't care what nobody say or how nobody feel, but I love my father. I do. I love my father so much and I know he's real. And I know I ain't got to second guess myself to know if he up there. I know he up there. And I'm I'm just telling you, don't play with your lives. Don't play with your souls. It's serious. This is not no game. It might be they might be in the churches hollering this a game, but it's not a game. This is real life. I'm sorry that the ones that y'all believed in, the mentors you believed in, we believed in our parents and our parents weren't even right. But guess what? Put all your trust in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and make your life clean within. Period. Blessings to each and every one of you. Much love.